When Calgarians visited the Circle the Wagons Festival earlier this month, they surely noticed it was sporting a new name for this food, beer and music festival is now simply called Circle. Evidently, the term Circle the Wagons is, <laughs> yeah, you guessed it, culturally insensitive. <laughs> We're all familiar with the term circle the wagons. It dates back to the Wild West days when those in a wagon train would literally circle their wagons to protect themselves and their livestock from attack by hostile natives. Post wagon train days, the phrase lives on as a metaphor for a defensive strategy. Do a Google News search as I did the other day and you will find reams of stories that contain the phrase circle the wagons, sometimes even in the headline. For example, from Salon.com, Trump's White House begins to circle the wagons. And from the Burlington Times, Tar Heels Fedora says, circle the wagons, score more TDs. And on and on it goes. But apparently last year, some people or some person complained that Calgary's Circle the Wagons Festival was triggering because it harkened back to the dark old days of colonialism. A CBC News story quotes Baran Faber, the director of Circle the Wagons, who had this to say, quote, I don't think we would have ever named the community event knowing that it was offensive or could be to some people, end quote. Faber went on to note that the complaints ranged from blunt to educational, but all carried the same message, namely that the phrase is offensive to Indigenous people. Really? And how does changing this name change anything for natives living on reserves today? Do the vast majority of them even care? Let's keep in mind that circling the wagons was a defensive, not offensive strategy, and it was being conducted to avoid being ventilated by arrows. As well, for the organizers of the Calgary Festival, the name was originally meant to be a play on words pertaining to the fact that all three founders had stylized wagons. Oh, and who are these people raising a ruckus about this name? Well, none of the complainers are identified in the CBC report. Must be that anonymous guy again. Oh, what a troublemaker. Anyway, these guys had a year to come up with a new whiz -bang name and they chose Circle. I'm not making this up. The festival is simply now called Circle. That makes no sense, really. It kind of sounds like the incomplete name of a convenience store chain. And really, what is Circle? But the first part of the phrase, Circle the Wagons, you know that culturally insensitive language we need to expunge from the lexicon. So we're kind of back to square one again, aren't we? It's almost as though we're going around in circles here, eh? But you know, in the final analysis, folks, maybe Circle is indeed a superb name for this festival, given the way Faber and company have kowtowed to the usual suspects. After all, a circle resembles a zero. As in zero creativity, zero strength, and zero balls in the face of politically correct madness. Yeah, Circle really is the perfect name for this shindig, come to think of it. For the Rebel.media, I'm David the Menzoid Menzies. Hey folks, the Rebel has a new app. Please download that app and take the Rebel with you wherever you go.